G'day, g'day, lads and lasses. It's your boy, Lucas Kentucky, back at it again with another uh, Instant Meal Chronicles. Today, uh, as you can see, due to circumstances and weather for the next while, uh, I will most likely be hosting these in my bedroom, just in a... you trying to keep a similar format to how I usually do it. But, I mean, I guess we'll see how it pans out. Anyhow... Let's get straight into this with this, uh, what do you call it? Instant Meal Chronicles. Today we're going to be trying out pot noodle chicken and mushroom flavor. It is a, I believe it's a British brand pot of uh, minute noodles, of four minute noodles to be fair. So I just wanted to make sure before we get in. Peel back the lid halfway, remove the sachet, pour the boiling water, water to fill line, recover and leave for two minutes then stir in sachet containers and then go ham so anyway so we want to peel this back about halfway so you got this little <laughs> even more but there's like a whole bunch of things that's already in it but there's already there's like this packet of sauce but uh they want you to Put the sachet contents two minutes new two mi uh, two minutes in. Instead, I'm just gonna do it the good old Grand Cherokee way, uh, which is pray that I don't spill it everywhere. As you can see, and we've been able to manage the first part, and then you know, I don't think we need to wait two minutes to be fair. I think we can just kind of chuck this in now. This strange liquid formula. And then all we need to do is leave it for about four minutes. Or, well, yeah, four minutes. So I shall see you gentlemen in four minutes. Bye bye. Okie dokie, I am back. It's good to see you. It has been about four minutes now, so we shall see. Well, our concoction is gone. And look at that. That is rather bubbly, isn't it? Look at all this. It's advertising on the back. They put all this advertising here just to make sure you make sure to bin it. Oh boy. Quite thick. The noodles seem very... How do I say this? Not very noodly. Might have to go get a fork just to eat this. Look at that. There's, uh, there still seems to be a few things that are conjoined together. Anyhow, we might as well go ahead and give her a try. A little bit warm still, but that's how it do be. Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand why the noodles are so small though. Like why they've cut them up. Is it like a British cuisine or something to have the noodles so small? Maybe. I guess we'll find out.
Yeah, it's almost impossible to get any noodles with these, so... I'm gonna switch these bad boys out for a fork. And luckily... Luckily I kept a fork as a backup. Just in case, I just had to go find it real quick because I put it somewhere as I was setting everything up and I almost forgot. But we got our fork and we're just going to dig straight back into it. Look at that. Look how much more you can get out with this fork. Far out, mate. Hmm. Oh boy. That's a lot better. So this one you really need a fork in it. Honestly, I gotta say, nut, you know, the chicken and mushroom noodle is not really a noodle meal. It's like a noodle soup, really. Definitely, definitely puts the noodle in there. You know, the pot of the, the soup flavor in there. Especially with how creamy it is. <clears throat> but the noodles, eh, I mean, don't really like the noodles, but the flavor is not too bad at all. The creamy mushrooms and the... The red and the chicken, the chicken broth, I guess, are the two flavors that got mixed in. As that's exactly how it tastes. It was not too bad at all. Mmm. It's just a bit annoying that the noodles are so small. That's really just the biggest downside here. Mmm. But honestly, outside of that, pot noodles, chicken and mushroom noodle soup is not bad at all. It's essentially like a chicken noodle soup but with small noodles and a creamy mus a creamy mushroom a creamy mushroom flavor added as well. That took a lot to say, I'll tell you what. Words were not doing me favors there, mate. Mm. This is essentially just old dregs, there's no real big ones in there anymore, like you know, the other pots. So, this old is going to be drinking from this point onwards. But yeah, I'll tell you what mate, the weather has just been all flip floppy all over the place, so finding a good day and a good time to uh, make a video of these has been hard, so for now, until we get to a better time, I'm going to be doing them on this little table here. Considering I was planning on doing other videos on this table. Oh boy. The one time. Uh, well, it <laughs> looks like that'll be it for today, guys. <laughs> uh, looks like I'll have to do a bit of a clean up there, mate. Anyhow. Uh, <clears throat> I think that'll be it for today, guys. <coughs> Feel free to try out these pot noodles, they're pretty good. Oh, far out. Looks like there's still a bit of dregs in the bottom of that dust. At the start. It's a. Uh, it's honestly not too bad. The flavor's pretty good. Probably needs a bit of a mix and a bit make sure you have a bit more time to let all the dust get out. <coughs> but apart from that, you know, pretty good. Anyway, I gotta go clean this stuff up. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.